Here you are. It's your girl. The internet ho. And for today's vlog, mga girls, we're gonna be reviewing the V-Line Cosmetics Team Paya Mansion HD Matte Tints and also the brand new V-Line Cosmetics called Bakanaman Lip Dip. So we're gonna be giving this a try. Alam niyo mga girls, this has been out since like last year, pero I've just been super busy. I know, don't judge me. But at least mga girls, I'm not empty-handed because I got the brand new V-Line Cosmetics called Bakanaman Lip Dip. And also mga girls, I'm pretty sure you noticed something. I don't know if there's something different we have. Here go. I, I don't know if there's something. Or may bago. Like, hindi ko lang ma-point out ko ano yung bago. Shut up. Anyways, mga girls, I just got a new microphone. I finally got a lapel para at least it's more clear. Like, comment below if you prefer this audio kasi so far, I prefer this audio. Walang static. Kasi the old microphone I had has slightly may static. So, I got annoyed. So, ayan nga mga girls. So, titignan nga natin kung nakakasikip nga ba tong V-Line Cosmetics. Kung bagay nga ba siya sa morena and also sa dark lips. And of course, mga girls, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you're always notified and lastly I'll be linking all my social media links over here so without further ado more curls let's get started All right, mga curls, I have all the lipsticks and all the lip tint in front of me here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna start with the Team Paya Mansion HD Matte Tints or the Lip Dips. I'm gonna start with this one because this is like literally a lot. It's 10 shades. So, gusto ko lang sana mag-RIP sa lips ko kasi mamamasakar siya ngayon. All right, so let's start with all the shades. Alam niyo mga curls, like right off the bat, the colors look super enticing on dark lips actually and also dark skin. Especially these shades over here. This one is a little bit too bright but we'll give them a try. So, we're gonna start off first with this shade we have here is bod pi pint and bod so for the first shade we have here is speed lang alam niyo mga girls like comment below lately i just want to switch up my vibes remember like back in the day i always wear black and i always like go for a goth dark look i don't know like ever since the hormones ako i just feel like a different vibe i just feel softer more pa bebe and also this is one of the reasons why nagbili ako ng lapel kasi at least i don't need to be loud in videos. I can just talk like this. So ever since nag hormones ako, I just feel more delicate. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. I just take off my current lipstick. Then natin mga curls ko nakakasikip yung shade ng speed lamp. Oh, I'm really so upset. I didn't realize that. Wait, hold on. Bruh. That sets so quickly. Oh my god, hold on. Uh, let me try doing an ombre lip with this if it can. In fact, it's super pigmented chat and it sets really quick. Oh wow, you can do an ombre lip with this. Oh wow. Is that an actual ombre lip? First time. Wow, okay. So this is in the shade speed lang. Hindi pa nga to lip tint. This is like an ombre. This is like a gradient lip. That is so weird. The other thing in the foundation, you've seen me wipe off my lipstick and I just put it on. I'm sorry. I could do a better job, but I'm shook. First time, like I've never seen a shade na ganitong red that works on me. Bro, I'm like shook. Oh my god. Wait, na curious tule ako. I want to try it as like a lipstick, like all over my lip. First time, it looks amazing. Even in person, ang ganda. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like those water lip tints that look sheer. It has pigment, pero it's not weird looking. It looks. Para it make my lips look edited in person. Now this is nice. Wait, parang gusto ko dagdagan yung top lips ko. And it smells like melon. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick. It feels like a lip tint. Almost feels like yung L'Oreal, yung signature rouge ba yun? Oh, this is so red. I, I prefer using this like a gradient lip. This is way too red, pero as a gradient lip, grabe, ang ganda niya. But that's still gorgeous though. But I wouldn't wear it like this. Alright, so this is in the shade Speed Lang. So for the HD Matte Tints, I prefer it as a tint. It looks gorgeous like gradient look. First time na ako nagandahan sa lip tint that does a gradient look. I prefer wearing it as a gradient lip than a full on lip tint. Which is so weird. Oh my god, this is a first. I never do gradient lips. But for the lip tint, V-Line Cosmetics, wow. First time na ako nakakita ng lip tint na hindi ako nag-effort at kaya ko maggawa ng gradient lips. So, you know what? I'm shook. I'm gonna be using this like a gradient lips if I'm able to take this off. So for the next shade we have, we have is Paedit. We have this is Eunice and Kiko. Tignan natin kung mumuha tayong edited sa Paedit. Alam niyo mga girls, kinakabahan ako. I'm not sure if I'm able to take off the lip tint and I don't want to rub my lips, honestly. 
Oh my god, sabi na, oh my gosh, grabe, ang hirap niya tanggalin. Like, there's still... There's still lip tint on my lips. Oh my gosh. Let me just try putting concealer on top of my lips para matakpan ko yung color kasi I tried my best in like removing the lip tint. Ayaw talaga matanggal. I bought this in a set eh. I'm not sure if they sell this individually. Alright mga girls, I'm gonna lightly conceal my lips para at least we can see the true color of the next shade. Okay, let me just try concealing my lips. The next shade we have is Pa Edit. Like see? Ang ganda oh. Even on dark lips. Iba talaga nagbe-blend out siya oh. Hold on. Tsaka hindi siya namumuo-muo. Alright mga girls. So this is my best attempt in a gradient lip. Alam nyo, I feel like the reason why it's not blending properly is I have concealer beforehand. So it's mixing up with the concealer. Pero if this was on my naked lips, hindi yan magiging ganyan. Pero the color is so nice. Alam nyo mga girls, just be extra careful when you're trying to do a gradient lips because it gets on your teeth and it will stain your teeth. But it'll go away eventually. I'm pretty sure this will go away if you brush your teeth. This color, it looks patchy because I feel like I have concealer underneath. That's why when I blend the lip tint para for that gradient look, it's a patchy because it's hard to concealer. But either way, the color is so nice. If I did this on my naked lips like earlier, it's more gradient to look at. But you know what? Because of that, I feel like I'll just put the color all over my lips. But it's not like this is patchy patchy. So let me try putting this all over my lips. Alright, Malka. So this is in the shade Pa Edit. Pa Edit, I tried putting it all over my lips. It's slightly patchy because it's a dark color. Like a dark plum color is normally... It's always in the borderline that it's patchy. Siya, but the color is really nice. I feel like if you were to do ayun nga again a gradient lip on bare lips like no product, it's gonna look super nice. But for this one, as a full tint, it looks slightly patchy in my opinion. So this is in the shade Pa Edit. Alright, so for the next shade we have is four dots. And this is Kevin and Angel. So let's give them a try. And alam nyo sa sobrang pigmented niya, even the concealer lumalaban siya sa concealer. Alright, so this is in the shade Kevin and Angel. This one like a dark red again, red. But this one it's not patchy. It goes on really nicely. And in fact, mga girls, it covered my dark lips. Like that's an even tint. This is a really nice color for dark lips. Alam nyo mga girls, I'm at the point that if I should swatch this on the lips or should I just swatch it on the back of my hand? Because if I just swatch it on my lips, I'm probably sure it's all gonna look the same since my lips is stained, since they're all lip tints. Try Muna this one. Since this is a bright coral orange, if it's gonna look different on my lips, I'll just swatch it on my lips. But if it looks similar to the previous color, I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand, all of them. Because I hindi yung appreciate yung colors on the lips kasi naghalo halo na siya. So let's give this a try first. So this is in the shade Ah Ah. Alright, Marco. So this is in the shade Ah uh, Ah. Uh, uh, it's kind of mixing with the other shades. So you know what, Marco? Just to be safe, I'm gonna be swatching all of the shades in the back of my hand. For the lip tints, Marco, I'll be swatching it on the back of my hands. But we're gonna be swatching the lip dips on my lips. Alright, Marco. So for the first shade, we have a speed lang. It's almost like a bright red. But don't be fooled that if it's bright na red, it has a slight depth to it. Now you can literally create a gradient lip. It looks super nice. And this is in the shade Pa Edit. Pa Edit is like a deep plum. So if you have dark lips, this is gonna be a very perfect lip tint. I even prefer this over yung kain na din, lustrous na lip tint na parang ganito color na plum. This is even darker and it goes on much better on the lips. Mas maganda yung lapat niya compared to sa lustrous. I mean, I've tried the shade like five dots. See, Kevin and Angel. It looks like a deep brown, but it's actually like a deep purple, like almost an eggplant. So this is what it looks like. This one will definitely work on dark lips and also dark skin. Then the next shade we have here, this is. I love you, I can't say the name without going crush kushai. If I have to read it. I have to read it with emotion. Alam niyo mga girls, this is the dream red lip tint na I want. Na hindi ka magmumukang jejebon. This is super nice. I can even imagine you making this like a gradient lip. It will look super gorgeous. I love this shade. Then the next shade we have is Aa. Alam niyo mga girls, at first I was nervous for this shade because it looks slightly neon, and I was like, I feel like it's not gonna work. Actually, when it dries down, it gets slightly darker, which I was like, huh. That's actually really nice. So if you're looking for a neutral pink, I highly recommend this one. Then the next shade we have is, this one's the cutest shade. It's called Lab, which is Kong Cheesecake and V and Cookie. This is the cutest thing ever. This is almost like a neutral burgundy shade. I love you, Marcos. I can imagine if I'm going to be doing a gradient lips, this shade is gonna look gorgeous. It's gonna look super romantic. I love you, Marcos. I wish I can do a gradient lips, but I'm going to lipstick na suot ko ngayon. I feel like nandyan pa yung lip tint. Then the next shade over here, this is in the shade Tarte, 
which is Pat and Kang. The thing is, this shade is so neon. So if you have dark lips and dark skin, personally for me, I wouldn't recommend it. Like, I can tell right away it's too neon. It's a highlighter. Na. I wouldn't recommend it if you have dark skin and dark lips. This would work if you have lighter lips and lighter skin. It's going to literally look so good on you. Then the next shade we have is LDR. This is Bok and Kaka. This one is really nice. It almost reminds me of Speed Long. But this one is lighter. And it's not red. It's more brown. And then the next shade we have here, this is my personal favorite. This is the first shade I've tried when I first got this like last year. Uh, I opened it and this is the only shade I've tried. This is Dali Boy. It's Ina and Dre. If you're looking for a neutral pink na lip tint that will work on dark skin and dark lips, ito, ang lakas ito mga virgin. So this one is Dali Boy. I really, really love the shade. And then the final shade we have here, this is Dali. This is Mentos and Mamita. This one, it's almost like a magenta color. It's really nice. Almost deeper compared to Dali Boy. But either way, these still work, work nicely on the lip. I'm pretty sure there'll be so much question that if it'll look good on the cheeks. I feel like for the formula, it's a bit too pigmented on the cheeks. Maybe you can use a tiny bit. But let me warn you, Mall Curl, super pigmented. Yeah, in fairness. Like, this is literally just one swipe. It's super pigmented. What I really like about the tint is, like, it's super long lasting to the point that even if I wipe this, at siya grabi siya kumapit. So, this is the reason why I'm not doing lip swatches sa tints na to kasi look. Like, bitch. It still stains. Like, girl. Ang hirap niya tanggalin. You can still see the stains. So that's why I'm not gonna be doing lip swatches on this. Kasi hindi nyo rin ma-appreciate. Kasi magahalo-halo lang din yung colors. So, alam nyo mga kras, if you're planning to buy the Team Paya Mansion HD Matte Tints, I highly recommend it. If you have dark lips and dark skin, there's only gonna be one shade that wouldn't work for you. That's the shade Tarte. But either way, all the shades looks amazing on dark skin and dark lips. Alright mga kras, so before we move on to the V-Line Cosmetics Kong Baka Naman Lip Dip, I just wanna mention for every purchase that you've seen on my channel and also on my Instagram story, random items, makeup, skincare, don't forget to always tag me in the hashtag Johnny Maybe Buy This. You can tag me on your Instagram stories and Instagram so I can give you a mention. And also you can tag me on Twitter so I can give you a retweet. So this is the part I'm really excited about. This is the V-Line Cosmetics song, Baka Naman Lip Dip. And you know what, mga girls, what's so funny when I saw this online? I saw the photo na si Kong ang nagmoda na lipstick. Isn't that relationship goals? That's the cutest thing ever. And can I just say, wait, I don't want to cry because this is the cutest thing ever. The names though, the name of the shades is literally Will you marry me? Like, bruh! I'm trying not to cry, bitch. Like, I can't. This is the cutest thing ever. This is like their velvet lipstick. So they have like a nude shade, a deep shade, and like a brown nude, and a peachy nude. So let's give these a try. Alam niyo mga pustahan. I feel like there's still lip tint underneath this lipstick. Yep, what do you know? There's still lip tint. Alright mga girls, so like I've said, there's still lip tint underneath the lipstick and look at my hands. Like, it's like a war zone, bitch. Like, this is intense. Alright, so let's try the first shade which is Will. Alright, so this is in the shade Will. It's almost like a nude color. Let's give this one a try. <gasps> oh my god, that is pigmented. Like, look, it's able to cover the lip tint, which is good. Okay, go off, queen. Alright, so this is in the shade Will. This is like a pretty nude color. If you want like that bridal look, it's so pretty. Nisha drying the lips, in fairness. Almost feels like Kylie Lip Kit's lip blush. But thank God it's not drying. And Kylie Lip Kit lip blush is super nakaka dry. Like, if you're looking for like a bare nude, like no makeup makeup look, this is such a good nude. So for the next shade we have is You. Isn't that the Netflix TV show? You, just kidding. It's like you, too. You. Mmm, cancel. Alright, so this is in the shade You. This is such a sexy, vampy red. If you're looking for a red lipstick na pang, na pang Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day and night, bitch, wear this lipstick. It's gonna make your teeth so white. This is in the shade You. It's not patchy. It goes on evenly. It blurs the lips, which I really like. And it's not dry on the lips, which is really nice. So let's move on to the next shade we have is Mary. Let's see if this is a good bridal shade since it's the one that's sa Mary. Or baka magmumukha akong Bloody Mary. That is such a nice color. If you have dark lips and dark skin, bitch, this is gonna look good on you. Like, oh 
my god. All right, so for the last shade, we're gonna be trying me, me, he, he. So this is the final shade. I look like a vampire who ate so much blood. Oh my gosh, on dark lips, this is like the perfect peachy nude lipstick. Last mga josa ha, parang. Like out of the four shades, I love all the shades except I don't usually wear deep reds anymore. But I like the shade. All the shades work. This is in the shade me. I love the shade me. It's super nice, super neutral. It almost looks like the perfect nude on everybody. The shade is super universal. I really, really love it. All right, Marco. So that concludes our video of the V Line Cosmetics review. Team Payaman Sean, HD Matte Tints, and also Kong Bakanaman Lip Dips. What do you guys think? They comment down below which of the items are you most likely gonna get. And of course, Marco. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And of course, small curls. Very important is to stay with she cap, my mother. How's the key? Bye, guys.